front of a fire. I'll have to turn it on. Let's see if this works. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, you guys. Well, it's Manda, the CMA. If you do not know who I am already, I am a certified medical assistant. I have been in the field for five years now. So hopefully I can help you guys out. The meaning of this channel, the reason that I'm doing it is to help people that are looking into medical assisting. They are in medical assisting school and they wanna know a little bit more of what to expect on the job. Um, it is also for everyone that's starting off in the field. Obviously I can only talk from my point of view from what I know. So, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe, especially if you want to learn a lot about medical assisting. A lot of it you're never going to hear um, from anywhere else except for probably here. What I would like to do today is talk about stethoscopes. We're talking about stethoscopes today. We're talking about some stethoscopes. So I have a couple that I want to show you. There's a couple that I don't have and I want to make comments on. Here we go. Let's get started. Okay. So the first one that I want to talk about is the most basic of basic of basic that I swear they must have came out with right after they stopped doing blood pressure the old, 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 old school way. So what they do is they put the blood pressure cuff on the patient They'd put their fingers right here, which I'm sure you guys know, that's where your pulse is. Obviously, it's weird for me to show it on camera and try and do it myself, but they'd put it right there where you would get the pulse. And as soon as they would start feeling the pulse after they had inflated the blood pressure cuff, that's when they would start counting the numbers down on the gate. I swear that this stethoscope was the next generation the biggest technology of blood pressure taking. This is what it looks like. This is the cheapest of cheap. This is about eight to twelve dollars. I believe you can get it from a medical supply store. This one, I actually used this in school, so I do think that it's an okay stethoscope. It does what it needs to do. I think that before they had telephones, when they used two Campbell's soup cans tied together with a string and did that for communication, this is like what that is. So it works. You get the, you get the point across. You can take the blood pressure, but it's just not the latest and greatest technology. I'll kind of go from earpiece to bell. Earpieces are plastic. Um, they screw off on here. So they look like this. I'll kind of show you. This is about as close as I can get. So hopefully my computer focuses. It obviously has the hole to go to the next piece, which is that aluminum piece. Um, it is completely plastic. Like it is plastic. Um, this may hurt your ears. This only comes in one size. So it does not fit snug into your ear canal, which it should because that's how you hear things. So there's no noise cancellation at all with these stethoscopes. Um, so when you put them in your ears, you can still hear the surrounding noises. That to me is kind of an issue because when we take blood pressure, we're doing it for a reason. Only good thing that I can see about it is that the tubing on it is rubber. I have never seen one of these break, which is something that I will bring up in a little bit. If it's been sitting like this for a really long time or there's a physician that feels like this is my stethoscope and they want to carry it around all the time, it's going to get stuck looking like this. Literally, and then when you put the stethoscope on like this, it literally has the bend in it and it looks completely weird and not right. It's $12. Just buy a new one. Just buy a new one. Buy a new one for them. Give it to them for Christmas. Look, it's Christmas time. Buy them a new stethoscope. Why not? Okay? I do actually have a funny story that I do want to tell you guys before I move on. So, um, I had a physician I used to work for. At the time, he was, he was 67 years old. By then, I would like to be retired. That would be great. 
but being a medical assistant, you're probably going to be in that clinic until you're in a walker. You can't see, and you're still going to be trying to draw people's blood. But, okay, so this physician that I used to work for, he was 67 years old. He would just find a stethoscope. I swear it was the same one every day. I don't know how he found that stethoscope, but he would always wear it, and it had that curve in it, so it was like this. So he would always wear it around his neck, and then it would do the curve, and then it would go, oh, I have a pocket. It would go right in the pocket. So he would literally go in rooms with a stethoscope that looked like this. And we thought it was freaking hilarious that, just get a new one. Please just get a new one. Anyway, so that is my story for this. Works okay fine if you're just out of school and you don't want to spend that much money you're still going to hear something out of it so here's the 12 dollar unnamed unmarked stethoscope well the next one that i want to go over is one that i do not have right now um i left it at a previous job because what happened is that one was falling to pieces it was actually really cute and that's why i bought it i was fresh to the field, I hadn't even got out of medical assisting school yet. So I didn't know a lot about it. It was a cute pink clear colored stethoscope. The back part of it where I wore it turned brown. I know that sounds awful, but it did turn brown. So it's going to be like any other piece of laundry that you have that's a light color because we have this stuff called skin and it just likes to ruin stethoscopes. It's getting cold already. After I had that stethoscope, I had told my previous employer that um, it was falling apart. And some of the other gals were able to have Lippmann stethoscopes. And I was like, sign me up. Lippmann to me is like cream of the crop. I love them. I think that they are very good stethoscopes. Obviously, there are dupes for them. I still like my Lippmann stethoscopes. The next one that I want to show you guys is called the Lippmann Classic 2 SE. I did not read the care instructions that said how you're supposed to keep your stethoscope. So what ended up happening, uh, my manager was actually there when it happened and we thought it was freaking hilarious, but she was kind of scared because she thought that I just hulked and like ripped it in half. So that's what happened. It ripped in half right down the middle but as a joke what I did was I actually put the bell back on it so get ready for it are you ready hopefully you're ready don't laugh at it please don't laugh at it actually I'm going to laugh at it so you can laugh at it too this is what it looks like right now this thing is so tiny, like it's the size of my hand right now. So it ripped in half. And the reason that it ripped in half is because in the Midwest, we have very hot temperatures in the summer. It can be over 100 degrees. And if you're keeping it in a hot car, um, say over the weekend, you know, you're not at work, that is not ideal for a stethoscope. An ideal temperature in your car, actually in your car, you know, room temperature. It would be best. So do not keep your stethoscopes in extreme heat or extreme cold. So this is what happened to my stethoscope. So it was hanging by like a little thread and I was like, Mah! and I just ripped it apart and she was the only one in the room. She was like, Amanda, did you just, did you just get, were you really mad? And I was like, no, it's something needed to happen with it. I wasn't just going to keep a broke stethoscope. So this is perfect. This is a great stethoscope. As you can see, it is a full, complete rubber. It goes all the way through. There's that side, there's that side. You just pop it right on. It does also come with another one that's got, it's kind of like a bulb and then it's a hollow on the inside. Um, so you do have your choice between the two. I like the harder one. Um, I don't know, I, I just think it's more comfortable and that I could hear better with it. It still is aluminum, but it's not as aluminum as the other one that I showed you, that $12 one. Tubing is just fine as long as you keep it within room temperature. Here is the stethoscope. The next one I will show you, here's a little story, I'll give you a little background. I ordered 
my one first off of Amazon, it showed on there as a different color. And I was like, well, I don't want that color. What I'm really looking for is this other color. So I clicked on that color and I ordered it, but I didn't look at the shipping times. It actually took a month to get to me. Halfway through it, I thought that they forgot about me. So I opened up the case on Amazon and I was like, yo, I have not got my stethoscope yet. What is going on? They um, expedited it and then they took $25 off. But while I was waiting for that stethoscope to come in the mail, I decided, hey, I don't have a stethoscope. So I ordered this one in the meantime. So this one said it was gonna come to me in three days and guess what, it came to me in three days. This is a MDF. You may have seen it on Facebook. I actually do not know the type of stethoscope. It says MD1 rose gold edition. Well, here's the stethoscope. It's cute and um, I ordered it fully knowing what would happen because there is an LPN at my job. She has the same exact stethoscope. I've used this for probably about a day and a half just so that I could do a good review on it. Um, by that time I had probably already roomed about 60 patients so I had enough experience with this to be able to review it. Um, so this one I ordered in the meantime while I was waiting for my other stethoscope and guess what they came on the same day. So that was really great. I do still have this one. I want to hold on to it because it's cute and it never hurts to have two stethoscopes. What if you forget one then you have another one. The thing that I like about this one, so let's go from top to bottom on this. This actually has three different types of earpieces that it comes with, small, medium, and large. I am a medium, I don't have tiny ears, I don't have huge ears. It is hollow on the inside. Um, it, it's actually very, very comfortable. It's very squishy as you can see from here, so your ear comfort is going to be awesome. This is very solid. It is definitely, 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 I am like almost trying my hardest, not really because I don't want to break it. Um, it. It is not bendable at all from what I'm seeing. The tubing was the big one that I wanted to talk about because this is the same as if you order a clear stethoscope. Guess what? It's going to pick up any kind of oil. It's going to turn brown. It's going to turn black. It's going to turn whatever color. It's going to turn blue. So um, that's the only concern I have about the tubing. Um, the bell portion is just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I think it's very cute. Um, it works very, very, very well. This actually works better than the Lipman Classic 2SE that I had that I ripped in half. This is a very, very good stethoscope. I will tell you the bad part about it. The Other than the tubing getting stained, when you wear this around your neck, it is quite heavy. And I don't like that. When I wear my stethoscope, I want to know that it's around my neck, but I do not want it to drag me down like I have a chain around my neck. I do not like that. So those are the only two things that I have. I feel that it is not lightweight enough to where I would be comfortable wearing it all day, every day. It stains very, very easily. So there's that stethoscope. So the one that I was waiting for and I ended up getting the same day as the MDF stethoscope. Brrr, he's my favorite. Um, on April 1st, I thought it was an April Fool's joke. I thought that they were really freaking kidding me. Um, they came out with the Lippmann Cardiology 4. Not the three. The three has been around for a very long time. I have a lot of providers that um, work at my clinic. They have the Cardiology 3. There's not too much of a difference, but I just feel like since I like stethoscopes so much, I wanted to be ahead of everybody and get the Cardiology 4. So with the Cardiology 4, I feel that this is a very good stethoscope. So on this one, I actually like, which I did not like on the um, Classic 2SE, this is the other type of earbud. So the earbud is hollow on the inside. Um, I can't really show you guys that, maybe just a little bit. So it's hollow on the inside, and then the other end is solid rubber. This is very good for ear comfort. I think it's equal to the MDF version that I just showed you. It does also come with the other ear pieces that I showed you before on the Lippmann 2SE. I don't know, I think I like these ones better. It's better with noise cancellation. So it's going to make sure that it hugs that ear and you're gonna be able to hear a lot better. We wanna hear very good. 
So um, let's go through it top to bottom. So from the top, obviously earpieces are good. The quality here, you can see that there is no bend at all. At here, this is the part where everyone's like, what the heck is this? So what it does is from the tubing, you've got two different tubes going down into one. And I'm probably sure that you're thinking, what is the deal with that? Why do you need to have two right here? And then it goes into one. The thing is, is that this one actually has a septum. So there are still two tubes in this. I love it. This is why I really like this stethoscope. And so this one is still very light. I love wearing it. I think that it's the same weight as if you were to go with the classic 2SE. Same. I think, it, I think it weighs the same. Obviously, I can't tell you right now because this is tiny and short and there's that. So, but I do feel that if I was to take a look at the bells on this, this one is barely heavier than this one. And look at how much of a difference there is. My biggest thing that I will tell you, make sure you get something that's quality for what you do. As time progresses, you're gonna know what you're looking for in a stethoscope. You're gonna say, okay, I don't like this in the stethoscope and I wanna research that. And there are different ways to research that. Do all the research that you can before you buy a product. The way that is the best way to tell if any sort of product is worth it is to look at what the comments are on an online review, do the rating with three stars. That is the way that you're gonna tell if a product is good or not because they are giving you an honest review. They're not saying that the product is amazing and they friggin' love it, and they're not saying this product is crap because this happened, but it's never happened to anybody else. Um, I think that's it for the video today. I hope you guys appreciated it. I know it was a lot of information to take in as always. Um, so feel free to watch the video again if you want. I will list the um, stethoscopes down below there. Um, I will not put links to them because there are a lot of different places that you can get them from. Usually I suggest Amazon. So yeah, I, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video today. I hope you learned some things and um, maybe some of you have different opinions. Um, I understand that. If you guys have any questions about stethoscopes, if you want to know anything from my fountain of knowledge, anything that I can help you with, I will because that is what my channel is for. So like I said, hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, please subscribe to my page if you haven't done that already. I do have a Facebook page as well. It's called Medical Assistant Life and I will be linking that down below as well. Um, I did also want to thank you guys. That first video that I put out, my very first one where I was super nervous to make it, the what is a medical assistant video, I have over a thousand views and I can't even believe it. I thought maybe I'd have like 10 people that have looked at it and they were like, oh my gosh, this thing is garbage. I do not get it. This is awful. Turn it off. So I really do appreciate it. And I thank you guys so, so much for giving me that amount of views and that you guys are interested in watching my video. Um, so next, I'm doing a ton of videos today. So I'm going to get out of the shirt though, because as much as I like it, I don't want to wear. I don't want to wear the same thing for each one of my videos that I'm doing today. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you like it. Um, and I will have everything below that you need to know. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I need to start drinking this coffee over here because it is getting super cold. And if you know me and you've seen my first video, this is my first one, so this is not okay. This is not acceptable. I need to finish this, and then I'm just going to keep going. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon. Three, four. This is four. This is not three. I need to learn how to count. That is my biggest problem. But I'm actually going to fix this, too. Maybe it's good that this is like my fifth time recording it. Who knows?
But that means that I have all my funny stuff already that I want to say. I I have all my funny stuff down. So maybe it's a good thing. It'll make the video shorter because I already know everything that I'm going to say. And then I can tell myself to shut up, stop talking. I don't even know who that is.